Today I'm going to show you that the sum from k equals 1 to 99,999 of 1 over the cubed root of k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus the cubed root of k squared plus k plus the cubed root of k squared. I'm going to show you it converges and I'm going to show you what it converges to. Okay? And so to start, let's just ignore this sum. Let's consider our fraction. So it's the cubed root of k squared plus 2k plus 1 plus the cubed root of k squared plus k plus the cubed root of k squared. Now notice we can factor this, factor this, and this is just k squared. Okay, so this is equal to 1 over the cubed root of, well, k squared plus 2k plus 1 is k plus 1 squared. This term, so again, it's still the cubed root, we could factor out a k, so it's k times k plus 1. And here, this is just plus k squared, the cubed root of k squared. All right, and let's let a equal the cubed root of k plus 1, and we'll let b equal the cubed root of k. Right, it's just going to make it easier to write. And so notice our sum could be written as 1 over, well, this is a squared plus ab plus b squared. Okay, and maybe this polynomial of a and b looks familiar to you. This is what happens if you take a squared minus b squared, sorry, a to the third minus b to the third, and factor out an a minus b. So if we multiply the numerator and denominator of this fraction by a minus b, well, our numerator is going to be a minus b. Our denominator will be a to the third minus b to the third. Okay, and now we could substitute back in the k's. So our numerator is the cubed root of k plus 1 minus the cubed root of k. Our denominator is the cubed root of k plus 1 cubed. So that's just k plus 1 minus the cubed root of k cubed minus k. Our denominator just becomes 1, so this becomes the cubed root of k plus 1 minus the cubed root of k. Okay, and we want to evaluate the sum from k equals 1 to 99,999 of this guy here. It looks a lot easier now, doesn't it? Okay. And maybe you know how to solve this now, and if you do, that's great. If you don't, let's write out a few terms and see what happens. So when we plug in k equals 1, what do we get? We get the cubed root of 2 minus the cubed root of 1, and that's it. So the next term, we plug in k equals 2, we get plus the cubed root of 3 minus the cubed root of 2. Okay, so notice the cubed root of 2's will cancel. And we can continue. The next term would be plus the cubed root of 4 minus the cubed root of 3. Okay, cubed root of 3's cancel. And you could see this goes on forever. The last term would be the cubed root of 100,000 minus the cubed root of all those nines. Well, it's going to cancel, so ignore the fact that I didn't write enough nines. And so what's left over is negative cubed root of 1, which is negative 1, plus the cubed root of 100,000. What's the cubed root of 100,000? 100. Okay, so our series converges to 99. So let me know in the comments how you like the video. Were you expecting this series to be a telescoping series? 
When I first saw this problem, I was pretty surprised. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know. I'm, I always love making um, series videos. They're a lot of fun. All right, bye-bye.